Right, so Addison Ray's back at it again. If you didn't see my last video, I'll put it as a card in the corner of the screen. So just click the i button if you want to watch it. Basically, I went into depth and looked at Addison's most liked TikToks. Just to illustrate that she's not as innocent as she seems. I recommend everyone watching this to go back and watch that video because it really sums up my feelings towards Addison. And to be honest, these opinions have just gotten even stronger ever since she released her new merchandise. Yep, she's released merch, she's gone down the route that every other influencer does just to earn a quick bit of cash. Realistically, I knew this was going to happen because she's at the pinnacle of her career right now, so from a business standpoint, it just makes sense. So I wasn't going to make this video until I saw the price of her merch. For instance, how much do you reckon this hoodie costs? It's just a normal hoodie which says for you on it. Has everyone got their guesses in? I'm going to guess around $25. Okay, now let's have a look how much actually. And no, no, it's, it's $46. Are you crazy? $46 for a hoodie which has two words on it. I don't even understand the whole for you thing anyway. Is that like her catchphrase or something? Because they seem like two very generic words that everyone says. If that's the case, then why didn't she just put the word the on a hoodie? I'm sure she says the word the more than the words for you. Can someone in the comments actually explain to me what this for you thing actually means and what relevance it actually has to Addison? Because I genuinely don't understand it. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe it is her catchphrase. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hoodie's awful. It literally looks like she put no effort into this. One thing that bugged me about the last video that I made on Addison was that someone said that I'm just hating on her for no reason and that I don't really justify my reasons. So for that one person who said that, I'm gonna actually go out my way to actually try and recreate this just to show you how Addison is just scamming her fans. One hour later. Right, so I found this website and I'm now gonna try and recreate this exact hoodie. It was literally just the first website that I found, so hopefully it's good. Wait, what color was the hoodie that Addison's selling? Um, she's selling it as mint. She's selling this hoodie as mint. See, this is the actual color of mint and she's selling this hoodie as mint. Interesting. Anyway, I found this hoodie which is actually mint and I'm going to try and make it as similar to the one that Addison's selling. Right, so I've came up with this and it's pretty much the exact same as the one that Addison's selling. The only difference is that the one that I made is actually mint. So if you think about it, mine's actually more premium than hers. And to buy this piece, it would cost you £25.10. and Now you may be thinking that that isn't that far off the price that Addison is selling her merch for. However, she's obviously bought these in bulk as she's not just going to sell 10 hoodies, is she? So when you order 100 of these hoodies, the price of the hoodie actually goes down to around £10 per piece. That's because if you buy in bulk, which Addison obviously did, you get a bulk discount. And I wouldn't be surprised if she got it even cheaper as she probably has a full production team. And for all the Americans watching who have bought this, £10 is equivalent to around $12. So for each sale, Addison's making a profit of $34. That's just on this one hoodie. One thing I'm actually curious about is the cost of delivery. This is the easy way to sneak in an extra little cash grab. That isn't so obvious to her fans at plain sight. So on the customised hoodie that I just made, the cost of shipping is actually free, as you can see here. And I haven't checked the delivery costs of Addison's merch, but I can guarantee that it's not free. I'm actually really intrigued to find out, so let's have a look. Right, so if I click buy it now... Hmm... So in order to see the price of shipping, you have to put in your bank details and all of your other information. That's really personal to you, like your address and stuff like that. I mean, I'm obviously unwilling to do that because I don't want this hoodie showing up on my front door. So I'm just going to have to look online to see if someone's posted a screenshot of it. Right, so I've just seen this on Twitter and it looks like the delivery costs around $20. And I assume that the costs only increase with the amount of items you buy. So if you include shipping costs, she's making a profit of $54 on each hoodie she's selling. If we go back to Addison's website, we can see that she's selling a lot more than just hoodies. Apparently she's also selling phone cases, mugs and notebooks. If we look at the phone cases first, we can clearly see that she is scamming her fans. It says that she's selling these phone cases for $22. One thing that I'm really confused about as well is this whole pouty face thing. I mean, that's not even her brand. I mean, if you type in pouty face Twitter on Google, she doesn't even come up. This is Corinna Koff's brand. She's stolen Corinna Koff's brand. This just proves that the whole pouty face thing is not her slogan. It's Corinna's. She's literally stolen Corinna's meme and she's making a profit from it. I get that she makes a duck face here and there in her photos, but she can't claim that she's the pouty face girl because she's not. And I've just noticed that the $22 case is for an iPhone 6. If you go to an iPhone 11 Pro, which is a far more popular phone to have these days than an iPhone 6, then the price changes to $27. And also, when I was looking, she only does it 
for four Android phones, and every single one of them is $27. You don't even get the option for a tough case like you do with the iPhones, so you're just stuck with a terrible quality phone case, and you're $27 poorer than you were before you bought the case. Okay, now let's have a look at the mug she's selling. Oh yeah, no surprise there, she's using the exact same slogans and logos that she used for her clothing and iPhone cases. The mugs don't even look good. I can guess that it takes Addison around $3 to manufacture this, and she's selling it for $14. I would say a reasonable price for these mugs would be something around the $8 mark, and even that I would say may still be a bit too excessive, but it's a lot more affordable than $14. And finally, the item I've been most excited about the notebooks. See now the target audience for these notebooks are obviously kids because why on earth would anyone over the age of 10 buy this? If you're over the age of 10 and you're buying this then you're giving your bullies a free pass to call you a loser. And the worst thing is that you can't say anything back because you know it's true. Especially when you take into account that you paid $14 for this. Are you out of your mind? These notebooks are similar to the ones you find in the dollar store and at the end of the day paper is paper. It would be a lot wiser to buy 14 notebooks from the dollar store than buying one $14 notebook with a smiley face on it. Because Addison is a TikTok girl and is is happy and smiling and spreading positivity. People are too scared to call her out for stuff like this, but it needs to be stopped. During times like this with everything that's happening in the world right now, parents are really struggling with money as pretty much worldwide all jobs have been halted and many small businesses have been shut down. Plus, all schools have been closed so many children can't see their friends. So when children go up to their parents and ask for some of Addison's merch, parents would feel obliged to buy it just to put a smile back on their child's face even though they might be struggling financially. So before you guys comment and say that I'm just a hater of Addison Ray, please just revise your thoughts and think back to all the points I've made in this video. If you're a child right now wanting to buy a piece of Addison's merch, please don't pester your parents to buy it. And if you're a parent, just know that there are other ways of keeping your kids happy during this time that don't require paying hundreds of dollars to a 19 year old girl. This is something that I'm really passionate about and it would mean a lot to me if Addison saw this video. So please spam this video to Addison whether it be on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube or any other form of social media because that's the only way she'll see this video and who knows she could potentially even lower the price of some of her items. If you agree with anything that I've said then please like the video and comment on any other topics that you want me to talk about. Alright, that's been it. Peace.